Hey guys, Karen from Curl House. I'm a licensed cosmetologist, a certified trichologist, and the owner of the Curl House Hair Restoration Collection. And this is part two to a series that I'm doing on gray hair care, specifically how to treat tone and avoid the yellow and brassiness of our hair that of course sometimes come with gray hair. So if you missed part one, check that one out above. In part one, I gave you several tips on things that you can do to actually tone the, the brassiness or the yellowness of your gray hair to really get that hair looking fiery and silvery. That was part one. You can check that out above. This part is really specific to things that you can do to avoid as much as possible your hair getting yellow or brassy in the first place. So tip number one, minimize your use of heat appliances such as the flat iron and the blow dryer and the curling irons. I learned this many, many, many years ago the hard way. Uh, as a new stylist, I had a client with beautiful gray hair and I flat ironed her hair. And as I was flat ironing her hair, her hair was turning yellow. And I thought, OMG, her gray hair is now yellow. That's when I learned that the flat iron, when it is too hot, it can cause your hair to be yellow. And if you don't clean your flat iron off, and if you have a lot of oils and buildup from the previous session, then that can attach itself to your gray hair, making it yellow and making it brown. So if you are using a flat iron, minimize the heat and make sure you use a thermal protector. Number two, if you have a lot of minerals or hard water in your shower, and if you wash your hair in the shower, that can cause your gray hair to turn yellow and brown. So you may want to invest in a water filter and or a water softener if you wash your hair in the shower to minimize the buildup on your hair, making your hair turn yellow. Number three, you have to be mindful of the hair products that you actually put in your hair. So I learned this yet again the hard way. Somebody gave me a deep conditioner. They said the deep conditioner was awesome. That deep conditioner is by Alake Naturals. Let me show y'all what color this is. Do you see that? Brown. So years ago, I used it. My hair felt amazing. But when I washed it out, oh, my gray hair was brown. Oh my God, it was horrible. It did not register to me at the time that this brown conditioner would affect the color of my gray. So stay away from products that are brown or have a lot of artificial colors in it like yellows that can transfer to your gray hair, making it yellow, brown, brassy, and dusty. So be mindful of the ingredients or more specifically, be mindful of the products that you put in your hair. If you're using styling gels and styling products, products that are white or clear, like for example, this is a styling gel, gel that's kind of clear, uh, creamy, that really doesn't affect the gray hair. But other styling products, particularly those that have a lot of synthetic colors in it, can transfer to your hair, making it yellow and making it brassy. Okay, so what about oils? So you know with your gray hair, I know your hair is dry. I really, really encourage a woman to moisturize their hair with a water-based product and seal it with oil. But with gray hair, I know some of you ask, well, what oils? Because oils have colors too. So let me show you an example. This is castor oil. This is, has like a yellow hue to it. This is an economy size of jojoba oil. This looks kind of orangey. And then this is coconut oil. And this is white. So between the three, do you think you can use these oils on your on your gray hair? What do you think? Okay, well, I can say this. For me and my gray hair, I use all three on my hair. The thing with oils, oils have a natural color to them. Those that are more yellow, 
um, like the castor oil, it's a very pale yellow. It does not affect my gray. The coconut oil does not affect my gray. Now the jojoba oil, even though it looks very yellow for me, it does not affect my gray. I do not put a lot, but it does not affect my gray. Now, some people will not use an oil that is like that dark orange because it will affect their gray. So in this case, I'm going to say, do a test strand. Don't put it all over, do a test strand. What works for some may not work for others. Some people can use the darker colored um, oils on their hair and it does not affect their hair. Other people can't. I hear a lot of people say they cannot put pure uh, concentrated argon oil on their gray hair because that definitely affects the color. But use your discretion when it comes to the oil. Now, one thing that I do use when I get my shea butter, I get my shea butter in white as opposed to the darker colored yellow. I do get this in white because this is great for my hair. It's a great sealant uh, for my hair. I put it on after my moisturizer and I absolutely don't have to worry about this discoloring my hair at all. So this is something that you may want to consider as well. If you're gray and if you have high porosity gray hair like I do, you can use this to seal in your moisture and to keep your hair gray, silver, and popping. You don't have to deal with discoloration. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed these tips on what you can do to avoid your hair being uh, being brassy and yellow uh, from products and other things that you apply to your hair. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up so that you do not miss the next video. And if you are someone who is interested in learning how to maximize growth uh, through lifestyle practices and proper hair care practices, I encourage you to sign up for my wait list for my health and hair online program that is launching this spring. And until we talk again, stay fabulous.